Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to use the Google Search Tools filter options. In our first Google Search how-to video, we just talked about how to use the basic search function. In this video, we're going to go a little more in depth so you can filter your search options. So what we're going to do here is use the same search term that we used in our first video. So we're going to look up Disney World. And once we search that, we're going to get to this All tab and there's this search tools button over here so we're gonna click that and we get these two different filter options the first one is any time and this is gonna be a pretty consistent filter option throughout all of these different tabs up here this will basically just filter it so that only things that have been posted within the past hour past 24 hours or maybe a custom date range that you need will show up on this page the other filter option that we have here on the all page is you can change from showing all results to just verbatim results and the difference here is verbatim will take whatever you type into this box here completely literally so if you misspell a word it'll just use the misspelled word or say you type in swim compared to swimming those two different words will be viewed as distinctly different or another example would be like say you typed in hat or hats the difference between those would also be recognized so it's basically just a completely literal translation of whatever you type into this box here will be shown in your search results alright so now let's move over to the news tab and we'll click the search tools button and we get these three drop downs here the first filter option is you can change from showing all news to just showing blog news results then this recent option is kind of like the um, on the first page we had the anytime so in this one it just changes it and it says recent or you can change to the past hour past 24 hours past week and so forth and you can also change the filter options instead of sorting by relevance you can sort by the date that the article was released so we're gonna skip over maps because maps does not have search tools and actually, interestingly enough, images is probably the area that you can use filter the best. But in all of my past videos that I've tried to show images, Google, when I upload it to YouTube, they actually gray out the screen and distort it and also cut off audio. So we're not going to click on the images button, but there are six filter options under the search tools. And we'll just highlight some of the important ones before we move on. You can uh, filter images by the size of the photo. You can also search it by the color of the photo. Uh, another option is then they have the recent option, so ones that uh, you can have it filter by ones that have been posted within the past hour, 24 hours, etc. Another really convenient filter option under the image tab is the uh, filter by uh, usage rights. So you can use this say you want to use a photo you know maybe for your website or commercially or something without having to pay a licensing fee for the photo so that's a really convenient filter option and then I know the last filter option is you can turn it turn um, an option on that allows you to see the size of the photo without having to hover over it so after the images we're gonna go over to the videos tab here and click search tools and you can filter by the duration so if you only want short videos medium or long then you can have that option again with the anytime option it'll allow you to search videos within the past hour past 24 hours and so forth for when the video was posted online you can filter by the quality so you can have only high quality videos show up you can also change it so only videos with that are closed captioned show up and then the last option here is you can filter by specific websites so say you click YouTube then only videos that are on YouTube will show up in this area alright now we're gonna click this more drop-down tab and we're gonna skip shopping because shopping does not have search tools and we're gonna go to books and click search tools and you can filter by having just books that have previews available or Google ebooks or free Google ebooks which is pretty convenient for those people that just want to have free book options you can also change it so instead of showing any document it'll only show books or just magazines 
Again, the anytime uh, search option here will allow you to filter it by when the book was published. And then you can change from sort by relevance to sort by date, which will just put the books in order of their um, most recent publication. All right, now going back to the more tab, and we're going to skip over flights because flights doesn't have a search tools option, but the apps does, so we'll click that. And we'll click search tools, and we get two filter options. You can show all apps by having the any price, or you can just see free ones or just see paid ones. And also, you can search by your operating system that you want your app for, so only iOS or ones that are available on Android. So that gets us through all of the different tabs that have these search tools. Uh, this is kind of built on top of our previous video where we just looked at the basic search function. Uh, thanks for watching my video and subscribe for more content.